hello guys welcome to my tutorials corner my name is Abhi and this is part 16 of WPF tutorials video series in this video we will learn the scroll viewer control in WPF so what is a scroll viewer well the scroll viewer provides the facility to user to display large content in a less amount of space sometimes when we have a large content this can be text or maybe a set of UI controls or anything else so when the content does not fit to the screen either it overlaps the controls inside which this is placed or it becomes hidden when the controls property is set to make it hidden so the scroll viewer control all it does is that it displays a scroll bar so user can scroll this and see the contents which he was normally not able to see so how do we use the scroll viewer let's go ahead and look at this with an example let's flip to visual studio just to boost up the things i have already written the xml script i'm going to copy this and paste it here okay you can see there is some sort of new section here I have created this by using stack panel and text blocks inside this first of all let's run this and try to understand now if you will notice here the contents which are going outside the boundary of this window are becoming hidden you can see there are so many contents here if I will expand this and try to go to the next element of it I can't go further so how we will resolve this to resolve this we can simply use the scroll viewer control to use the scroll viewers there is a very simple syntax scroll viewer and let's wrap the stack panel inside that let's paste it here you can see to the right of this stack panel there is a scroll bar let's go ahead and run this I can easily scroll this and I can see all the contents which are placed inside the scroll viewer now there are two types of scrolling the first is physical scrolling and the second is logical scrolling physical scrolling is that it scrolls the content to a predetermined number of units when we click on the scroll bar usually this is determined in pixels whereas the logical scrolling scrolls perfectly to the top of next element in the container let's look at this with an example first of all let's run this and see the physical scrolling if i will click here you can see the contents are going up just by some pixels now if i want to enable the logical scrolling all i have to do is to set the can content scroll to true so this should scroll the contents let's go ahead and run this and if you will notice here here is the stack panel and here is grid layout that is new section and if i will click here the stack panel has gone and the grid layout had shown let's click this and you can see the combo box here and if i were using the physical scrolling I will have to click two to three times but just by clicking one time this has gone to the top so that's the logical scrolling one thing you need to keep in mind is that scroll viewer only works with those controls which implement the I scroll info interface let's quickly see this
we'll go to the code window and just to show you I'm going to type the stack panel so by using this I can go to the definition of it you can see here the stack panel is implementing the I scroll info interface okay so that's the scroll viewer in WPF that's it from this video tutorial please subscribe comment let me know if you have any questions thanks for watching have a great day